three good questions to ask a roofer that I, th I think are really good questions to ask. Um, one, you know, what's, what's the place of business? What's their address? Uh, where they do their business at? You know, um, we find or find that a lot of roofers are uh, not roofers in general, but just companies don't even have a business address where they do their business. Make sure the roofer's got a good local phone number, uh, the same number they've had for years, you know, not just something that's recently been added or changed. References, of course, check with, well, you know, give them, have to give you plenty of references of work that they've done. Uh, you can go by and look at it, see what you think. Uh, talk to the homeowners, other homeowners on those references. The good work speaks for itself good to hear it from other people. I think the, the word certified or being certified um, kind of means their credentials, you know, as, a, as the roofing company and what they teach all of their roofers and uh, laborers, you know, how to install their roofs. Um, at, at our company, we like to, you know, make sure all of our roofers stand by our standards and the, you know, the regular business practices for installing a roof. I like to call it Dale's standards, I guess you could say. I think it's good. I think it's you know good to have a homeowner question what, you know, how does your roofer go about getting trained or how do you continue to train them to make sure they stay certified in the you know day-to-day -day roofing operations and the expectations that I hold our roofers to. Making sure that uh, the roofer has workman's comp is, is very important. Double checking, you know, when you get bids from a roofer, make sure that you uh, look at their certificates, that they're valid. Um, work comp and liability both. Bottom line is you just don't want to be held accountable if something goes wrong on the job 